So now we're going to look at how to send automated emails uh, using the Java Mail API. So uh, for that, what we need to do is uh, first we would need a dependency uh, from Maven repository that is called as uh, Java Mail. So we'll be downloading this dependency, not the beta one, but 1.4.7 and we need to put it inside pom.xml file. So Java sending out emails through Java is uh, not a task of uh, your Selenium APM or uh, rest assured APIs, right? So this is a separate API, a third party API, a Java project uh, through which you can send uh, backend emails, right? If in case uh, you go to Google and search for how to send mail in java so we're gonna see uh let's say i go to the very first link over here or from this link yeah so i go to this link uh, i mean you can see the java mail api so there's a blog on it i mean uh, how you can send out a simple email there are different classes available in the API that we just downloaded through Maven, right? If you go over here, you'll see uh, some jar files being added to your Maven dependencies. This is the mail and the activation jar, right? So these are some of the jars that you would be needing in order to send out automated emails, uh, emails through the backend process, right? And from here, you can see if you want to send a simple email, you need to provide your to address, your from address, the host uh, from which you are sending out email, uh, like from Gmail, if you are sending it, maybe smtv.gmail.com. If you're sending it from your uh, company's network, then you need this information from your IT team or the network team, right? So you need to provide your SMTP host details over here, the port as well. And then there are a lot of other classes available. So this is like, you can set the subject, you can set the body message, uh, you can add the recipients, right? Transport.send message will gonna send out the email. So these, there are different classes in this API. If you go down, you'll, you can see you can send an HTML email as well, right? And the classes may gonna increase. You can send attachment in an email as well. Then you'll find many more classes being added, my message being added, body part, multi part, data source, right? And number of other classes are being added. And there is no need to like learn all these classes, right? This way we will be using a lot of utilities. Whenever we are working on uh, automation, we use n number of utilities available in the market, right? So it's not mandatory that we should be learning all, all uh, these classes, right? We should be focusing on the API that we are working on right now. So what we need to do, uh, like you can copy this code, you have already taken this jar file and you can start using it. That is how even developers, they work, right? Most of the time we are on Google, we copy paste code and try using it as a developer. So this is the same thing that we will be doing as a tester, right? So what I did is I created a utility for uh, sending out emails. So I've named that utility uh, as monitoring mail. So I've created a class called as monitoring mail. I'm going to copy uh, these two files and uh, paste it to my project. I'm gonna create a new uh, package over here. And maybe I'll name it as uh, sending mails. And I'm gonna paste these classes over here, right? Or maybe change the name to utilities because these are utilities. Right, same way, move these to utilities. Right, and delete this. So if I open this, if you'll see a class called as monitoring mail. And uh, there is a method which accepts various uh, arguments like provide your mail server from two addresses in the form of an array. You can send mail to more than one user as well. 
then the subject, then the message body, attachment path, attachment name. So these are the things that you need to provide to the send mail method. And how you're going to call it, you just need to create an object of monitoring mail class and call this send mail and it will going to do all the tasks. If you go down, you're going to find the same code written over here. If you want, you can go through this code. See internet address, body part, multi part, transport dot send message will going to send the message. So all these information, this is the same uh, mail code that I've taken from uh, these websites and I've created a utility and this is just a one time effort. Uh, I'm using this utility from last seven years and there is no change in this utility, right? So how are you going to send out email? You simply need to uh, create a new class by saying test mail. I'm going to share you this, uh, these utilities. You can try doing it on your machine. And let me create an object of monitoring mail, mail equal to new monitoring. And then we'll say mail dot and call the method send mail. So first we need to provide uh, the mail server. The mail server is smtp.gmail.com. The from address is, let's say I'm gonna send it from my mail ID. Then the true address, maybe I need to send it to 100 users. So I'll not be writing all these information over here. So what I did, I created another class, right, where I have stored all these things as a static variable. So I've created a class test config. And here you can see server, from, address, password. So all these things are stored it as a static variable. Why static? Because I can call it directly by using test config dot server. So wherever I want to call it, I can simply go over here. I need the mail server, I'll say test config dot server. Simple. Test config dot from. Test config dot test config dot subject test config dot message body right test config dot attachment path dot attachment name so these are the information that you need to provide right once we are done, I mean, this is the only code that you need to write. The other configuration that you need to do is on your email account, right? So what you need to do is uh, you need to log into your account. Now this is specific to Gmail when you're sending it out through Gmail. If you are sending it out through any other mail server through Outlook, then the uh, configuration might change, right? Then you might need to provide the SMTP server uh, based on your Outlook configuration or maybe you're sending it from your company's network, then your IT team or network team will gonna provide you this information. In case you are sending out emails through this backend process, make sure you are not behind any firewall. Otherwise, it might block sending out of emails, right? If you have any freeware antivirus installed, uh, one of the most common antivirus is uh, Avasta. If you have that installed, I would recommend to block that for uh, like next few minutes till the time you're practicing uh, sending out emails. Otherwise, uh, I've seen that antivirus block the backend process as well, right? So these are some of the configuration. Then the additional configuration is what you need to do is go to your account. If you're sending it through Gmail, go to your Google account. And over here, you need to go to uh, data and personalization. Let me see where this option is. There's a change in the UI. Yeah, go to security and turn on this less secure app access. Because if you won't turn this on, you'll not be able to send out email at all. Right, so this is the only thing that you need to do. Once you are done with all this configuration, Right, uh, like you need to make sure you're not behind any firewall. There is no antivirus that is blocking uh, sending of emails, right? So, and this uh, less secure app access to on. Once you're done with this, you should be able to send out email 
without any issues. So once we are done with all this configuration, let's uh, go back over here and see, uh, see this is the message body, uh, a test message will be passed, right? These are all dummy messages. We can, once we'll be integrating this Java mail API to the framework, we're gonna see how we can uh, send out uh, uh, like the dynamic message of a error log, right? So right now the screenshot path is hard coded but we'll be capturing the screenshot on runtime and then we can send it. This is specifically we are integrating it with Selenium. So where we uh, like capture screenshots and then send it, right? Otherwise you can send out any file in the attachment as well. So uh, like what screenshot that I'm sending right now, it's uh, a small se.png file. So let me open this up. Right, this is the screenshot file that will gonna go as an attachment. You can change the attachment name as well on the runtime. Whatever name you wanna give will, the email will have this attachment with this name, right? So let us uh, run this and let's see how it works. See, it started doing its work. And in some time we'll see a message successfully sent mail to all users. Right, so the mail is sent. Now, if I look over here, I have given two email accounts. One is this and the other one is this. So let me uh, go back to this account and log into my uh, other account. Uh, that is this. And see if I have received the email or not. And yes, there's a new email. If I click on it, you're gonna see uh, it's being sent from this email ID to these two addresses and this is uh, the screenshot that shows up, right? So this is how simple it is to send out email. Just you need this utility. I'll be attaching it to your course. Just add one jar file uh, dependency over here. That is the Java mail dependency. Include this uh, utility and just call the method send mail and make sure uh, to do all the configuration uh, like if you are at your office network it might block sending out of email so what you need to do just try to come out of your office network and connect to your personal network and then try to send it you should be able to do it easily if it is a requirement in your organization to send out emails like this they'll definitely gonna uh, create an admin user for you which should have all the privileges of sending out emails through a backend process. All right, thank you.